the Volvo S40, V50, SZO and C70 family, which was produced from 2003 to 2013, are more expensive and prestigious relatives of the Ford Focus and Mazda 3. But are Scandinavians better in terms of reliability? In what, in what, and in terms of the durability of the body, the Swedes have something to teach their distant saw platform relatives. The aluminum hood, consider, is eternal, and high-quality double-sided electroplating on all other elements, even for specimens that have lived in our conditions for 12 years, gives a chance of corrosion, except perhaps after a careless body repair. The paint is in no hurry to become cloudy from sinks and wipe, like the Mazda 3, or peel off, like the Focus. Here is a generous electrofilling of the body from dampness and time gets fairly. The buttons on the floating console after 10 to 12 years, one by one, may stop responding to pressing. Fortunately, resuscitation usually comes down to elementary cleaning of contacts. If the buttons are beyond suspicion, and the climate control still fools around on more recent copies, not supplying air to where they are asked, look for the guilty among the damper servos, most often the rods unfastened in the mechanism. It happens that the immobilizer stops recognizing the key, and the ignition lock itself can wear out after seven or eight years, not each time agreeing to turn on the start. The power windows begin to twitch, the electric drives of the seats act up, the fuel level indicator twitches. Inside the doors, the power window control unit, which is not the best protected, surrenders to dampness and the electromechanical lock modules go into failure. This is especially true for cars older than 2007. And the easily clogged drainage of the sunroof threatens not only with spoiled upholstery of the ceiling and pillars, water can do trouble with the contacts of the central electronic control unit CEM, central electronic module, hidden in the bowels of the front panel. The vulnerability of the CEM unit is a proprietary sword that haunts many Volvo models. CEM troubles, one answer, if any of the electrical systems starts to junk, be it the instrument panel, headlights or interior lighting, immediately inspect the condition of the board, you may have time to save it by cleaning and sealing. The procrastination of death is similar, especially in the case of copies older than 2005, the car will go completely blackout. Along with generic ailments, Volvo also acquired Ford once. Due to the fact that the badly laid wiring harness of the electric lock drive breaks or closes, after four to five years, the trunk of S40 sedans may stop opening. After 80 to 100,000 kilometers in the bowels of the gas tank, the Bosch gas pump is able to go on strike. To replace the tank, you will have to remove it, but the savvy owners have adapted to fit a cheap assembly from the VAZ front wheel drive. And after six or eight years, a frozen radiator fan of the cooling system can bring to overheating. The electronic control unit is attached directly to it and suffers from dampness and salt. But what about the motors themselves? The base engine of the B4164 S3 series with a 1.6-liter timing belt drive, aka Duratec 1.6, was developed with the help of Yamaha back in 1998 for the first-generation Focus. And the Swedes got it in its simplest, and hence the most reliable, incarnation without phase shifters. A popular unit, a quarter of all cars in the secondary market, is dirty, except for trifles like failures of ignition modules or sensors and the gaps in the valve mechanism after 100 to 120,000 kilometers have to be adjusted manually. But if you do not squeeze all the juices out of the unit, which is frankly weak for a weighty Volvo, it is able to hold out until the wear of the piston group of 250 to 300,000 kilometers. Gasoline engines with a volume of 1.8 and 2.0 liters, 14% and 17% of cars, respectively, of a different breed. Both Mazda engines of the MZR family are identical in design with a timing chain that can withstand up to 200 to 220,000 kilometers. In terms of resource, they are better. They take care of 300 to 350,000 before overhaul, but they often bring more minor troubles along the way. The bearings of the belt rollers of the mounted units are flimsy. They do not always reach 60 to 80,000 kilometers. And closer to the anniversary 100,000, you need to look more often at the coolant temperature gauge, the thermostat often retires, and underheating and overheating happen with the same probability. If the engine begins to dance at idle, twitch when driving, pull it in hard to start, these are questions to the ignition coils and wires. However, the nervous trembling of any of the Volvo engines after 80 to 120,000 kilometers often has another reason, the tired right hydraulic support of the power unit. And the throttle valve block is powerless in front of pollution, 
Immediately behind it is the tube of the exhaust gas recirculation system, which regularly supplies the unit with soot. Without regular cleaning, every 30 to 50,000 kilometers, the engine speed begins to float, and in especially neglected cases, the throttle may also wedge. After 300 RPM, traction began to disappear and the check engine light flashes. Get ready to replace the intake manifold flap control valve. And do not forget to look into candle wells. If, after 80 to 100,000 kilometers, oil is found in them, you need to tighten the weakened valve cover, and if it does not help, replace the gasket. Own Swedish Motors 2.4 Series B5244 are not in vain the most popular, 39% of cars. The units are quite gluttonous, the consumption in the city that we got to get acquainted with did not fall below 12 to 13 L slash 100 kilometers. But they pull under the odd chirp perfectly and live long. The design is rooted in the 90s, and the margin of safety can be envied. The 400 to 450,000 kilometers that are now available to few people are not the limit for them. There is no need to be afraid of small turbo versions. 2% of cars the 2.5 V5254TZ engine is rented out even earlier, after 300 to 350,000 kilometers, but turbochargers, as a rule, live up to this period. And the five-cylinder units transversely located under the hood are exotic not only in their design, but also in surprises. At the first meeting, do not forget to bow, a large motor has a vulnerable pan, which is easy to break through in harmless situations, on Ford Mazda engines, by the way, it is steel, not aluminum. And if an artistic whistle suddenly starts coming from under the hood, do not panic, you are not having an attack of hallucinations. Does a slightly unscrewed oil filler cap or a pulled dipstick restore silence? This means that the hole in the right side whistles the oil separator of the crankcase ventilation system, which has a leaky rubber membrane. As a rule, this happens in the interval of 70 to 100,000 kilometers. Officially, the assembly is changing entirely, but the craftsmen got used to updating the penny membrane. And remember that for 2.5 turbo engines, a network of thin tubes adds trouble with the crankcase ventilation system they clog with the bang. In five or six years, the vacuum pump may also begin to sing along to the underhood choir if, instead of short-term operation, it stops turning off due to the fault of the control valve and starts to overheat. Or here are the phase shifter couplings, one for the 2.4 engine and two for the 2.5 turbo unit. They are often taken to flow after 70 to 90,000 kilometers. Trifles, of course, it's something every day, but the oil gets straight onto the timing belt. So if there is no desire to change the cylinder head with bent valves, of which there are 20, do not ignore traces of oil on the belt casing. And do not forget, the drive belts of mounted units also lead to the same catastrophic consequences. They like to delaminate, often this is facilitated by wedging rollers or an overrunning generator clutch, and climb under the arm of the timing drive. The only way to be safe is to change the belts at every scheduled maintenance after 15,000 kilometers. Diesels? Alas! This is exotic for us, because they were not officially sold. And on the X-Europeans, there are the most chances, 2% of cars, to meet the base 1.6 engine of the D416 series, which is rather weak for Volvo, like the 2.0-liter, 4s, D4204, quite successful PSA Peugeot Citroën units are hidden behind the Swedish indices.